My gosh, we're live. What's up, everybody? Spencer, Zunaid, Ryan, Mitch is uh, away from us for the week. He decided to dip out to Florida. Uh, so we hope things are going well for him down there. Uh, we hope he's um, not trading, but if he is... Doesn't he have family or something down there? Yeah, he's got a bunch of family down there. So he's, he, he said... I, I tried to convince him to take like a, a a trip to Disney just to like do some like boots on the ground like reporting and see how some due diligence on his vacation. <laughs> just do some DD. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but uh, I know he's in the area. So, um, good morning, guys. How was everyone's weekend? Uh, I was really good. Um, it was really good because the Bears didn't play, so um, nice. that, was, that was fun. Nice. Uh, um, uh, I'm excited for this week. I think that it's gonna be kind of a low volume week. Um, obviously we look set to open lower here. I think that's probably good. A lot of these high flyers really need to get taken down. And I think that would set up the next up move. So, um, I'm going to be cautious at the open here, but, um, I'm feeling pretty good and, uh, I'm looking forward to this week here, Spence. Oh, wow. Positivity is made. I'm thankful I'm not the turkey market, uh, or I guess we're oh not my in the Turkish market is a better way to say oh, it. Oh, good. Yeah. Do you want to you, um, you want to look at the uh, here? Let, let's look at the TUR ETF. It's at all time lows this morning. I said it all time lows. If you bought this thing when it Jesus opened Christ. in March of 2008, you're at an all time low this morning. Is that simply because of the variant or is it no, obviously no it's, like is, is it more no. than just a variant impacts on the economy? I guess no, is a better it's question. Got nothing to do with the variant. It's yeah. got everything to do with uh, f massive inflation and a leader who insists on lowering interest rates in an inflationary environment and their central bank is who even knows what's going on with their central bank. All right, so look, here's a dumb question and it's because yeah. I'm not informed in the international markets. That's okay. Does Venezuela have a stock market and what's that trading at? Yeah. It does. Um what's the What's the ETF ticker? I'm going to google it real fast cuz I'm cheating. Uh and I don't know, know, I expect you to know it. It's V uh, I just V bankrupt. I don't know. No, it's it's uh <laughs> oh gosh, what's the damn ticker? Come on now. V this should be I know there's right, a... well well we can take a look at it later if we need to, but I was just curious because obviously you've heard so many things about their economy and their markets just being complete garbage. Um but anyway. oh, apparently, apparently there is no Venezuela ETF. You have to go for broader South America. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, Turkey. Good thing we're not there right now. But hey, I thought you meant the tur like Turkey isn't like the animal. I was confused. No, no, no. Um, I've got my charts. Uh, charts up. Wow. That was... <laughs> <laughs> Let's just start the show, guys. Let's run. That was show. good. Let's start the show. Holy cow. <laughs> Uh, everyone hit that like button for us, please. We'd appreciate that. Let's roll. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Those words have been dancing around my head all night. Oh, it's Vegas law, that phrase. Kiana. Fisher. Joy. Joe. Cards drawn are the past, ones to come are future. And the best part, it's beatable. All right, let's get some of those so-called charts up on the screen. We'll start with Zunaid here since he volunteered. Zunaid, what are we looking at? The spy, I see. I'm working at the spy, and it's if you're a bull... Um, or if you're wanting for the markets to go up or whatever, it is it is encouraging at the time being that you did have SPY kind of slowly make its way on up from the two, from the 452s all the way to 456s. I am looking for a possible short, however, with a stop loss above the 456 level. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is probably just grabbing, depending on what the IV and all that looks like right at the open, just a couple of puts, maybe the 455 puts, maybe like grab like one fourth size and see if it can crawl all the way up here and then get into the position and then obviously go ahead and stop out above. I'm also going to keep an eye on the low of Friday and see if we're able to test that if needed. But I, I feel like a bias has to be towards the short side, especially if we want to go ahead and test 450 like we did 
um, a while back. I don't know if I'll be able to go back all the way. There it is. We kind of broke it a little bit. Then we kind of sneaked right back up and went all the way. So that's the main thing that I'm looking at is going to be SPY. In terms of Tesla, something that I don't like to play on Monday for obvious reasons, especially in terms of contracts, because they're hella expensive. Um, if it goes ahead and breaks 910, which was support last time, and if it goes ahead and breaks 900, I would look to go ahead and get short. Uh, but those are the two main ones that I'm looking at in terms of um, what, what I'll be playing. And of course, QQQ's, the 480 level was support for it last time. Looks like we're below that. So I'm honestly, instead of playing Spy, I might look to play um, the Triple Q's and see if I want to grab short here around the 380 level and stop out above at 381 or so. Because you okay. can see that's exactly where we had support right over there last time. Okay. Ryan, what do you got? Yeah, I actually think that's pretty good. Like I was saying kind of at the beginning here, I want to be tactical. I think that we're going to uh, sell off out of the open here. But I'm hoping that we actually kind of stabilize and find a viable bottom. With that as the backdrop, the two things that I would be looking at are very, very much related. It would be Apple and also the Qs. Uh, Zunate, I really like the idea of the Qs. I feel like if we can kind of hold in here, we might actually make a move, even if it's only for today, or even if it's only like a short term kind of dead cat bounce ish. I think yeah. that might be tradable. And I'm going to watch for that uh, as well. I noticed that there was an analyst that kind of played catch up on a price target with Square. Um, I saw that earlier this morning of a block, excuse me. I, I don't want to find a block. Um, uh, Wedbush shares maintain neutral on block and lowered the price target to 190. Current price right now is 160. Their price target came down from 250 to 190. So I want to see if that has any type of traction or if that kind of mutes the, the trading in square at all today. Uh, I'm not uh, like, like, you know, I'm not going to uh, try Tesla and uh, I'm watching the banks here. You know, we saw the banks sell off recently. They're down here today along with technology. I want to see if that kind of holds or if that changes throughout the course of the day. So those are going to be the, the couple of things that I'm watching. Um, I'm also going to be watching the scanner right out of the open, right? Because there still right. might be some some short term plays, some plate liquor trades, as we call them. Plate liquor trades. Yeah, the the little you, you get a little bit of profit, you know, scalping little trades. Oh, okay. Not the big wealth building moves, but you know, you get the <laughs> the crumb. Now, I like it. So what we so it's not a buffet trade, right? It's exactly. a plate liquor exactly. trade. I like that. Yeah, no, that, that's what we call them in the happy hour. And then Mitch reminded me because he was talking about being long pancakes and deep in maple syrup. So I, you know, you can't fault me, but I originally thought, you know, oh yeah, plate liquor, you lick the maple syrup off the front mm. of your That's what Mitch is going to be doing right now. I guarantee if we had a camera, he'd be licking the syrup off his plate. For sure, for sure. All right. Uh, my take on this morning is it's it's been a relatively straight... Here, let me zoom in on this, make it easier to see. Um, been a relatively straightforward morning. I kind of like... The fact that uh, the market seems to be moving together, and what I mean by that is like everything seems like things are mostly moving in the same direction, right? Most everything is down, with the exception of uh, your your vaccine names and a handful of stay at home stocks, right? Zoom being your leader there, and the same kind of it kind of was Friday as well, right? Friday we had uh, you know a, a broad based rally in every crappy stock of the year. <laughs> right. If, if you were a stock that, that sucked for this for the year, you were up on Friday with like maybe one or two exceptions. Right. So my initial reaction uh, to Friday was why why chase that move? Why buy um, a a Robin Hood or a DocuSign or a Zoom uh, now? Uh, the long-term trend is your friend, and the trend is down. However, if you are looking to take longs, Dennis did mention this this morning. It is not a terrible idea. You know, if you're talking about risk control, you just you know you can buy all of those stocks and stop yourself out on, on at Friday's close or at Friday's low in in every one of those names that rallied on on Friday, right? Whether it's a a, a Teladoc or um, a, anything, right? R A R K K whatever right a any you know test you know even Tesla right uh, although Tesla is actually back at at Friday's low now so maybe don't do that right now but um yeah that's not a terrible idea I would be watching because we're all everything's sort of moving together here I'd be watching for a reversal in like the banks right like if, if we get a reversal and uh, like a like a big ass but like if the market turns at 10 or whatever and and, and we do get that bounce i'll be watching for a bounce in the banks 
Uh, I'd be watching for a bounce in um, uh, what, what else was I going to say in, uh, in in solar, right? All those solar stocks are down this morning because of the the news over the weekend that the uh, the uh, Build Back Better plan looks like it could be dead, and there was a lot of incentives there for solar and and, and EVs. So I'd be watching those for a bounce. Um, they're all trading down this morning, but uh, I don't know, kind of a a simple morning to understand in terms of the overall trend because there's only everything is kind of moving together here, which I kind of like. So, so a couple of, a couple of things yeah. to add to that real quick. Yeah. So number one, starting with the build back better plan and the yeah. solar sell off. I think that that's most likely going to be temporary because uh, even if this plan is axed, a, a new one is going to be coming uh, at some point. And I don't think solar is going to be one of these things to get left off. So if you get any type of price depreciation or price stamping, I think you actually may be able to add and swing at a lower rate. Maybe not uh, on day one, maybe kind of watch those names instead of jumping into them. But just a quick note there, I actually do think that you could see a rebound uh, when the next plan or when more infrastructure and building talk um, resumes. And I believe that would be early next year, right, Spencer? You probably know. Uh, I, don't do. I, don't, I, I don't. Basically, what I'm saying is I don't think that you're going to hear any more about that in 2021. So table your expectations on if you do buy the dip in some of these stocks, table your expectations on when they're going to bounce back. But I do think in the future, some of these names, you will see people return to them so don't panic if do, you're long them okay go ahead Jen, do you also want to like chase the, the vaccine stocks up here i i, I you, you, know, you know me spencer right. i certainly don't i think that the vaccine trade was early on in the pandemic that was the time to actually play these vaccines you could say that there might have been a couple more when we started to talk about delta but honestly with this i, I to me this is not i mean this is not a trade for me. Even, even if you're bearish on the price of the vaccine companies, I really don't think a short is necessarily safe here. So to me, this is a no trade. Now, I understand that my own view of this uh, might be complicating things and might be completely different. We're talking about stocks that went from low teens to hundreds in some cases. So yeah. let, let's keep it with a, with a grain of salt there. But no, it, my general answer on that is that the trade with the vaccines was early on. Um, you know, I, I know that the trade in Pfizer is popular because they, they're going to probably never going to stop talking about boosters, at least from, well, from what we can see stop, in the cycle now. So. Pfizer can't stop going up. Let's look at a, a daily of Pfizer. The thing is ridiculous. Let's pull up PFE here. And but what and then um before we go to this real, real well no we'll do it after I, I have one more stock I want to take a watch at but okay. let's talk about the vaccine stocks first. No, I, I got nothing to add. I just wanted to look at that chart. All right, all right. Uh, what do you want to say? Yeah, and then the the one more stock that I think was interesting from the news flow this morning is Can F. Now, um, the couple of things here. This is a a, a has a cannabis angle on it. Um but and this is you know been kind of like a, a day trader stock in the past where it's popped and then given a lot of its gains back so keep that in mind but we do have a pretty nice uh piece of news this morning can fight biopharma shares are trading higher after the company announced a liver cancer patient was cleared of all cancer lesions so cancer headlines often can move stocks the stock's up over a hundred percent today i wow. think might, this actually might be tradable today uh i i'm not i'm not like you know a full-on believer that this is going to change the way uh we look at cancer or anything like that but this is absolutely going to be something to watch uh, out of the open today if for nothing else than to be able to trade some of the volatility in this uh i mean again up over 100 percent. if we sell back down to you know 192 dollar area we could very easily bounce 20 40 even 50 cents so you've got a float of about 17 million i like it yeah um, see, it's that's not the I'm smallest saying. of them but i do like it yep, that's um, what I'm saying. Can F, uh, not coincidentally, your number one trending stock on Benzinga Pro this morning. It is your most searched ticker. If you're wondering what your other most searched tickers are, I will tell you. Uh, your top three are Can F, S O P A, and B R G. So, what's S O P A got going on? Society Pass. Um, added to the Russell 2000. All right. So, heavy volume this morning on S O P A. Stock is up 30. 32%? Dear Lord. Just because he got another Russell? Okay. Uh, what's the what's the pre-market high on that? Uh, 621. So we're well off that right now. And then BRG is your other top trending stock on Benzinga Pro this morning. Uh, they're getting acquired. That'll do it. All right. Yeah, and then so that trade is that trade is probably over. You know, one more thing with, with the uh, CANF here. Yeah. Um, Eric here in the chat says CANF has a history of gap and fade, though, so I don't trust it. Eric, that's exactly what I was trying to say. You're exactly right, but 
knowing that puts you in a position where you can perhaps trade any type of bounce. I see also here in the chat, Rodrigo long from 216. So if we take a look at the chart here, 216, actually a really good spot to get long here. It actually consolidated for a, a good portion of the morning right around that price level. So uh, that seems to be that seems to be a good price level. In fact, I if this might even come back in a little bit out of the open 230, 220, and then bounce. So we'll see. Just keep an eye on it. I don't know what it's going to do. Um, huge, huge catalyst here. Obviously, lots of eyeballs. So we're this is going to be one we're going to watch out of the open for sure. All right. Uh, I know there's a couple headlines we missed. We'll cover those throughout the morning here. Um, and then, as always, if you have a question or a ticker, drop it in the chat. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll take a look. No, Tiny Pie, we did not cover Live Nation this morning we can talk about it um throughout the show today uh we are 10 minutes out until the open so before we get too close to the opening bell i wanted to bring on my crypto heat map if i can find it for you which i i can't right now let me go to benzinger.com slash crypto to find it and uh we'll do a quick crypto update um and then we'll get back to the stocks but you know you, you actually frankly you probably don't need to look at the heat map to know what's going on this morning because uh, everything is down and crypto is moving with it. So let's pull up that heat map. Yeah. What Ouch. do you know? Right across the board. Nothing too crazy, though. Solano. Gee, dear, dear Lord, Solana. Can't. Uh, let's, let's pull up a chart. Let's go to pro here. Uh, I want to look real fast at SOL um, because I've got this one. And this thing has gone from 250 to 160 in, in in a month, so that's that's fantastic. But uh, anyway, nothing too crazy as far as percent moves, right? Bitcoin only down three and a half. That that ain't much. ETH down four percent. That ain't much either. So um, I I don't really pay attention unless there's like a double digit percent move. That's how like desensitized I've become to like the crypto volatility. But uh, <laughs> So you're like know. everyone else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like, like my alarm bells don't go off unless I see a double digit percent move. Like Solano being down nine point four percent, I'm that that makes me raise an eyebrow, uh, especially because I because I own it. But other than that, I don't pay attention really to anything. Three three percent down, four percent down does does nothing for That's me. It's normal, right? Yeah, it's normal. It's normal. Hey, as always, if you want some free Bitcoin, here's what you got to do. You got to go to the Voyager app. You download that app, obviously. You enter the promo code Zing, Z-I-N-G. When you sign up, you fund your account with 100 bucks and you make your first trade, and they'll give you $50 in Bitcoin for free. Check it out. Okay, uh, back to the stonks. I'm going to do my very best to write the tickers in the chat down as they come up, and um, we'll take a look throughout the show. Uh, one piece of news that we did not cover this morning that I saw uh, I'm not sure what this says about us as a, a, a society. Maybe this is a COVID trade. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But uh, Krispy Kreme did raise their guidance for the year. They increased their fiscal year 22 sales guidance. Um, not by a lot, but a raise is a raise. So shares of Krispy Kreme are trading slightly higher this morning off of that headline. Actually, no, they're down now. Interesting. Hmm. I didn't notice that. Interesting. 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 Um, All right. I've already got an alert set for SPY. Uh, if it gets around the 455, 59 level, I will try to grab some puts. And above the break of 456, I will go ahead and stop out. I am interested in CANF that Ryan talked about earlier, If it, especially if it can go ahead and get into around the 224, 225 um, just night, really, really trying to play the VWAP bounce and see if it can continue. Because I'm sure, like Ryan mentioned, a lot of eyeballs are on it. And if anyone on FinTwit that is has a lot of following or whatever it's interested in the stock you can see this kind of go crazy as well there's a question uh a benzinga pro question um in the chat ryan and it was it was let me scroll to find it was it uh can you have otc there yes you go. Okay, so um, so this is how I'm going to answer this. We do not guarantee coverage on OTC stocks. Uh, we will try to get you as much of the quotes as possible and get them as real time as possible, but we do not guarantee OTC coverage. Uh, as a result, I'm, I'm pretty sure that there's no way to get those in the scanner. Um, if that's something that's important to you, that's something that we're going to need more 
feedback from users on. So you can do me a huge favor. Um, Spencer, can you throw up my screen real quick? Just for I a second. can do that. I can do that. Um, if, you, if you really, really want OTC, uh, please be very specific about the whys and the where that you want it. So you had mentioned wanting to be able to scan for those in the scanner. I think that's a very reasonable request. Go ahead and click on the send feedback button in the upper right corner. It's going to populate it with your name and your email. Just go ahead and say in here what you want about OTCs. It's going to be more effective if you say, I want OTCs for this reason and this tool than simply give me OTCs. So um, think about that. The more and more people that suggest and give us this feedback, the faster we likely we are likely to act uh, on getting that. So um, you should be able to get some OTC tickers in the chart, but we don't guarantee their coverage. And as a result, I don't believe they're available in the scanner. Uh, right, a couple people have mentioned AMC in chat this morning. Um, AMC ripped higher on Friday. I'm going to go ahead and say I do not think this is because of Spider-Man and the great box office. I think AMC kind of moves. Set, it doesn't move off of fundamentals like that. Um, that being said, it is an undoubtedly great weekend you know, for AMC just from a business standpoint. But I don't think the stock cares about that. Um Regardless. It drives a hype, though, right? I mean, that it it, it is it, it's tricky because it doesn't move strictly based on that, but it drives the hype. You don't think? I don't. Know. I I mean, a fundamental headline like "Oh, there's a record box office for movie theaters in, in the in the COVID era." That I don't think AMC. I, I don't know. Like, like, first of all, if you were watching it on Friday, that was a predictable. That was a headline that we got on Friday. We got a. Uh, uh, yeah, it, it was a record Thursday night opening, uh, and so you, you could probably see that coming. That it was going to be a record opening weekend. Um, that being said, I, like, look, AMC moved higher with the. Like I said before, every single stock that's been punished this year went up on Friday. Uh, AMC included. It's that's been punished for the last six months, right? Um, I, I think that's probably the more relevant trend here than the or the, the more relevant. Uh, um, reason for the move than right. than you know oh we had a great weekend for the movie theaters and so let's buy AMC because you know what let's let's look at CNK CNK uh, is down this actually it's flat it's flat this morning um, it, it was a great weekend to be a movie theater and see well look at how Friday was though I'm comparing fr so compare Friday AMC mm -hmm. to Friday CNK they okay. both should have been up uh, yeah but Cinemark was up like. What what was that? If you go uh, close to close, it was up like a, a dime, a quarter, yeah. right? I mean, the, that's nothing, right? Very true. Um, Very true. So AMC doesn't move off fundamentals. Uh, regardless, you're worried about the hype. Um, you're knocking on the door of thirty bucks here this morning. Your high of Friday was thirty seventy one. That would probably be a level you'd want to see clear first. I don't know. I'm not great at the, at the AMC stuff. Um, I, maybe if you take a long, you stop yourself out at, at, at what's that low of this morning, 2741 from 4 a.m. Maybe there is a stop if you want to go long AMC. Probably, there are probably worse ideas, but it's not for me. It's not for me. I don't know. Regardless, though, great day for AMC. Can't argue that. Yeah, you can't argue that. You know, I'm I'm actually just seeing this now in the pre-market here, but GRTX might be in play again. Uh, this was in play on Friday. This was off the scanner, and I think actually, yeah, it was a couple of days prior. It was active on the scanner as well. But here we are. We had a pre-market pop, and we've actually already taken out this had this high. So uh, this one might be another day trader here. Um, today. So we'll just watch this. So as far as the smaller day trading stocks, I'm looking at CANF and GRTX out of the open here. There's a bunch of tickers in the chat. I promise I'm writing down tickers. I promise. I promise I'm writing down tickers as I see them. I have a list of like a dozen here that we will cover throughout throughout the hour. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, shoot. It's 929. We got under a minute until the open. All right, let's let's pull my scanner in Benzinga Pro. Yeah, as, let's get the scanner ready. Good as call, I Benz. do every day at the open, and I just watch things happen. So here I've got my scanner. I've got my five-minute movers on the right. I've got my movers 
from the opening bell on the left. Obviously, there is no opening bell yet, so I got nothing there. And we're going to watch and see what we got. Drop your trade ideas in the chat as you see them, and we will do the same as well. Try to call things out, call out trades, call out movers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, interesting day, broad-based weakness into the bell. How does that change? We're about to find out in T-minus 15 seconds. Good luck today, everyone. Remember, this Good is a low-volume week, so be careful with what you're doing. Don't try to be a hero. Just do 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 what you're comfortable with. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. All right, let's we got out of the open here. Do, 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 do. Opening bell, every sector in the red, no surprise. That's what that's what we knew. That's your gap down. Yep. Yep. Can F uh Okay, can F pulling here, so we'll see where this pull ends up settling. Looks like that went to what two thirty? Did I have it at a two thirty two low there? All right, pullback in Moderna off the open. If you're chasing that, you're looking for a trade there. Slight pullback on Moderna. Uh, can't say the same about BNTX. Ocugen leaking hard. Ocugen got to six fifty in the after hours. We're down or buck below that now. I'm just keeping an eye on the spy puts, um, the 455 puts that expire. Here's the 230 today. crack on 230 crack on uh, CANF. So we're below 230 here. Some pretty big bids on the level two, um, but some pretty big offers too. And they look like the offers are popping. Big time yeah. volume stick here out of the open. I'm going to throw some tu some light tunage up here, if, if that's cool. Just um, I'm going to go ahead and grab just a small, small size because it hasn't gotten to the yep, best here. area I want to. So there's grab. your okay. hold. So here comes a push here. Nice little push. There's still high volume. Just light tunage. Taking out blocks here. Okay, so I think we could pop if we send this over 233 here. Hot day high here is going to be 255. Here's your pop it. There it is. 243 down. They're going to keep pushing here. 255 going to be the next spot here in CANF. 255 CANF. Oh, you're at. Check out the support that Hertz has right now. HTZ. Let me pull up Hertz right now. Check this. Check the support out. Daily, daily support. We're right there. Mm. Is it $20? Uh, uh yeah it. yeah yeah thereabouts yeah the low was 1973 from from uh the 19th you had yet another low from october two from october actually so we're at support and hurts maybe watch that for a breakdown uh spies trying to go ahead and break the 454 level i'm gonna go ahead and grab very small size just because it hasn't given me the best risk reward i'm gonna grab the 455 puts got filled at two dollars and 37 cents Two fifty taken out. Two fifty holding fairly well here. Absolute monster volume on CANF. Nearly forty two million shares already today. Wow. Got a, wow. It's only got a float of twenty minutes. I already rotated the float more than once. Hey now. Here hey. we go. New high. So we did. We did end up taking out that high on CANF. Uh, two fifty seven fell. We're at two sixty prints now. So pretty decent trade here off to two thirty. I didn't take this. This is um. This is a, a just a little too risky for me on a day like today, but pretty good, uh, pretty good trading action here. Uh, Zune, did you ever get your fill on this, or did it run past it? Uh, no, it had not get my fill because I was hoping for it to get it around two twenty, and yeah, it only yeah. got to two twenty six. But I yeah, am interested in possibly grabbing some here if it could halt up. I'm not sure, but. Disney's breaking down again. Oh my! Kind of makes sense. With Disney. if you're worried about the virus, you're worried about. Yeah, you know, I mean, let's take a look at all the travel. Mm, no, it's not really a travel, a broad-based travel theme here today. Let's pull up an intraday. You can look at. You Disney. take a look at Hilton. You've got Hilton down two percent. The Jets yeah, ETF is down three and a half, four percent. So you know that makes sense to me. Uh, spy weight is coming back down. So those. 
contracts that we bought, you're up about 14%, nothing to write home about, but depending on your account size, please, please, please go ahead and scale out. Um, I'm hoping for us to at least go ahead and try to test 452-ish, but I will start taking profits around 453.20 uh, because you never know when a pop can come. How's that stay at home trade doing? Zoom. Oh, what a pullback. <laughs> Spencer, man, that's that's good announcing right there. Look at that pullback in Zoom. He got off the open, that opening candle there. What was the pre market high? 211. We're at, we're at 200. That, that's, a, that's a pretty nice range already. Yeah. So, what was the close? Uh, two, 199. Close at 199. We're at 200 right now. Let's see if we can hold. Let's see if we can hold the close. Come on, Spy. Just dump for me. Yeah, Tesla sub 900. Oh, it looks like it's trying to bounce off that 900 level. Yeah, and uh, thinking about it, I've been watching Avis. Thinking about it, well, what was the open on that day? It was 174. Was like the open on the day that Avis would do the crazy shit. It so, was, yeah. I remember we talked about it around 300. I don't know what the yeah, open no, was. No, the open was 174. So, yeah. I mean, you're, you're down it's stair step down in Avis every day, um, it seems like. And there it goes, Spy, going green on the 10 minute. XLV just turned green here. So we've got. Let's see what's. I mean, what's driving that is is Pfizer's driving that. Uh, Johnson Johnson's driving that. Come on. Um, so guys, so Can F, real quick, just an update here. We talked about this is a stock that loves to give back its gains. We had some nice moves there, kind of watching the level two and watching some of the daily levels. Big pull here. We're actually pulling back to. Uh, we're currently at 235. So what we really want to see hold here is going to be that 220 level. Zunaid, like you said earlier, it got down to 226. Mm -hmm. I think if it holds 220, there might still be a bounce trade here, but be very, very careful. If it cracks that, it might flush even more. Uh, Roy is saying, kind kind of like to get into can F right meow. Okay, I, I appreciate hey, the rest. Hey, I, 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 I got to step out. I'll be back in five minutes. I got to step out. Yep, all good. We got you. Um. Yeah, can't have, I mean, if you wanted to, right, you have to adjust your share size because your stop loss may not be till you get below the 220. So like 217, 215 might be your stop loss. And if you want to go even wider, you can take less shares and have the break of $2 end up being that. So if it gets closer to two, you can go ahead and have uh, more shares as you dive into. But you do have Boeing here. This is interesting. Expiring contracts on the 23rd, which I guess is this week. Uh, they're buying the 187.50 calls, paying about three dollars and thirty-three cents per contract, and they bought one hundred and seventy thousand dollars worth, approximately. For anyone that's interested in Boeing, let's see how that stock's responding to that. All right, coming up a little bit. Go to the one minute testing VWAP. So if you're short, if you want to be short Boeing, this is not a bad spot. If you want to fight against those calls that just came in, um, one eighty-seven. And I realized uh, Spencer is. Wait, can you can you switch it to my yeah, charts or no? I can, I can switch okay. it. Let me get your. Uh, there you go. Perfect. So Boeing, if you want to go short Boeing, not a bad spot. Right above this VWAP, you can go ahead and stop out. So I'd say the break of one eighty seven, you go ahead and get stopped out. You're risking a dollar, and you're hoping to test at least the one eighty five. So that's an idea on Boeing there. Let's go back to my spy trade here. Da, 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 on the ten minutes, yeah. Still just kind of lingering. We were up about 15%, then we were down about 15%, then we were up, and it's just been back and forth so far. Um, not what I had expected. I did expect a bit more of a flush, um, but given the fact that it had a nice rise up since the 7 a.m., I'm not too surprised by it, but I am still in the trade. The contracts that I got at 237 are now going for 215, so I am down about 10% on those Um 
We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Preview in the chat. Preview shouting out ENSC. ENSC, nice little pop uh, out of the open here. I don't see any news for it. This is a stock that has run in the past. Looks like it bounced off the 280 level, 290 level. Um, we were at, opened at about 290 today. Some big volumes. That'd be one to watch. No trade in it yet. Come on. Let's take a look at what Tesla's doing, shall we? Tesla's bouncing, actually. So makes sense off of that nine hundred. GRTS, a uh, nice move here out of the open too. This is Gritstone Bio. Um, we're up about seventy cents. Uh, actually, well, we're up forty-five cents from the open, but we're up about seventy cents from the low. Um, yeah, nice, nice pop through 14. Some resistance here, but if we take this out, this thing could move a little bit more. So we'll we'll watch that. Can F still hanging around that 230 area. Uh, it did come back in towards VWAP Zunade. Looks like it bounced off the 228 VWAP pretty nicely, holding in here. But um, we we both know this ain't done yet, so we'll see. Yeah, no, goes. not at all. Yeah, still above VWAP, still above. The EMAs at the moment, their spy first 10 minutes was green. The second one just dumped. Now you're up about 20% on those contracts. So please, please, please go ahead and take some profits off the table. This is where being patient pays and having a plan. Just look at that. Look at this red candle that just came in on the 10 minute on yeah. spy on the right hand side. And you know what's interesting about that, Sunaid? I'm looking at CCL's chart right now, Carnival Cruise Lines, and they're popping out of the open. Looks like Very it's moving off a 1770 level. Didn't we just have news about I think it was maybe Royal Caribbean someone had COVID CCL on it or something? Had like news that. on Thursday, Friday about how 50% of their Royal something, something. Too, though. That's really interesting. But anyway, let me go back to spy here. It, there you go. Dump on down. Dump on down. So market spiking down here, uh, pretty big spike, pretty big spike here. And and with CCL up, that almost tells me, I know this is a knee jerk reaction, but that almost tells me that this is, you know, uh, Fed worries more so than COVID worries. Yeah. Um, and we do have the super spec, man. Thank you. CCL does have earnings uh, or did have earnings this morning. The conference call is start, uh. scheduled to start in 19 minutes. So perhaps people are positioning ahead of that. Uh, speaking of positioning, I'm going to go ahead and take off one fourth here of my Even spy. Here, yeah. I'm down. I'm going to go ahead and lock in profits at around the 27% mark here on the spy puts one fourth, the rest or the next size. I will go ahead and take around the four fifty two fifty area. Um, but I'll let you guys know as I start scaling out, but the one fourth has been locked in. And, and real quick, just back to CCL. Yes, CCL did have earnings today. Um, the one thing that's made these earnings movers move has been the guidance print. And I actually didn't see that here in the headlines. If you guys have the guidance number, awesome. Definitely post that in the chat. I did not see that here um, in, the, in the actual news feed. Maybe they discussed that on the conference call. I don't know. The other thing to take a look at is Royal Caribbean, RCL. That had a very similar type move as CCL today, and they did not report earnings. So still, still think that there might be something else going on in there but we'll wait and see sorry Janae, go ahead no no you're fine you're fine I, i'm still i mean we are still looking to see what happens the market's bouncing just a little bit nothing too crazy um uh bbig trading up here this has been one of what this i feel like we mentioned bbig every other day for the past month this yeah, stock man. never seems to go away um, we're, we're popping here. Got a 316 print. Looks like Friday's high was 320. So that's going to be your spot here. Um, BBIG. Someone in the chat asked about my puts. Uh, my puts are the, so December 20th. So today's expi expiration puts, the 455 puts. I had gotten them at $2.37 and then sold one fourth of them at $2.97. And the rest, I'm holding to see if I can get a little bit more. But they are coming back down. I'm only up about 8% now on the three forts that I have not scaled out of. Uh, Bitcoin, although it looks like it was run down towards that 45,000 level, actually bouncing here, uh, trying to take out 46,000. We'll see if that ends up um, 
continuing here. Let's take a look at some of the other Bitcoin names like Mara. That's still down. So it looks like it's bouncing, but it's still down here. Let's take a look at Riot as well. It, a lot of these names, they look weak out of the open, but they look like they're trying to bounce. So we'll see what happens with the market here. The market I'm looking, a bit and bounce. These might move with it. Yeah, I was, I'm looking at Boeing too, but since I'm already short spy, I don't want to like double down, if you will. But yeah. Boeing, it kind of peaked above that 187. Um, with the calls that came in, but so far rejecting BWAP once and also possibly twice here. Um, so also going still beneath that 188 kind of near term double bottom. We identified that last week here. Let me, let me bring that up real quick uh, since I yeah. just happen to have it ready. Uh, we identified this last week, maybe even the week prior when we had talked about it. Uh, 188.25 still under there. To me, the the uh, looks like this wants to go down further. Um, We'll see. Maybe 180, 177 can get the next spot that this catches. We'll see. We'll see how this ends up trading today. You've got Can F that just can't seem to go ahead and break below VWAP. So that's a good sign if you're long Can F, C A N F. Sure, sure is. Let me go ahead and pull hey, it up put, here. Let me, let me grab your screen. You had that. Yeah, you've got the mix there. Perfect. Yeah, I've got yeah, I've got Boeing here. If anyone's interested in that, we've got Can F here as well. Um, let's see. Yeah, see, I, here's what I, as much as I want to get into CanF, the reason I haven't is because I don't know, and there goes CanF. Yeah, see, that's, is that why? <laughs> because that's the, that's the thing. <laughs> that's like the, you you got to be technical about how many stops that just flush out. Huge ask. Now they're chomping away at that ask here, still hanging on to two. Remember, this was the 220 level that you first identified. Yeah. So we're consolidating right around that level here. Really slammed back down to that level. If it can hold here, maybe that'll be a good. Nope, there it goes. Yeah, yep. Big bid there at 220, just like you had outlined, Zunaid. Yep, and it, that's, it, I forgot to cancel my uh, order, so I did go ahead and get filled. I'm going to go ahead and set my stop loss below $2. So I didn't intend to, but I forgot to cancel my um, order. But I am now in the trade, so I will go ahead and put a stop loss of $1.97 to be out of this one in can f um so you're 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 you were right on the 220 level yep. that we had discussed earlier okay perfect. yep 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 that's why i didn't get filled the first round this time i did um so i'm risking about 25 cents on this trade you are getting a bunch of call options coming into irnt yeah irnt popping here i brought that up as well let me uh let me add that to the screen here more on irnt now really moving here now, this, is, this is where we closed on Friday. Yep, you're absolutely right. And there he goes, pops up right above it. And those call options for the folks that might be trying to play those, they are buying the December 31st expiration, $5 call options. They purchase approximately $70,000 worth of it. And you can see it is just popping right now. Shelly, you know what? You guys are asking for the RGB lights. I got you guys. Just give me one sec. The what lights? Oh, you're <laughs> that's funny. When people expect things, we have to live up to them. And I have no problem doing that. Now, the only problem is I've got red and green as my lights because it's Christmas time. And unfortunately, it's daylight outside here. So the light is coming in and washing some of the colored light away. But I hope that you get a little bit of the Christmas vibes off those lights. There you go. Um, you've got someone in the chat saying Iron Net can go ahead and do some crazy things. Let's yeah, see. Let's a little bit daily. And yes, you are absolutely correct. So, matter of fact, let's see if $4 has been support in the past. Oh, nope, never. Uh, but if you wanted to get in this one, if you wanted to go in to get those options, matter of fact, let me see here. Make sure all my trades are good. Yeah, my trades are fine. All right, let me go ahead and take a look at IRNT, the calls that expire on the 31st, $5. Okay, not bad. They're going for 35 cents. I think this is a decent YOLO, especially depending on your account size. Um, now they're going for 30 cents. Oh, nope, nope, back to 35. Anyway, point being, cheap lottos if you wanted to kind of play with it. Uh, and real real quick here, uh, uh, Roy is saying AUVI. So that's Alpha Uniform Victor India halted here, halted at 485. 
Um, big pop out of the open. Looks like oh, wow. we what well, we closed right around 420. So we're up about 65 cents here. Um, I don't see any news, just a halt on a circuit breaker. So um, if you have anything else on that, please go ahead and share it. Roy is saying, I think IRNT gets a lot of love from Atlas. Maybe that's why you're getting a pop. Um, uh, well, born, Ryan, you rock, bro. Always working for the viewers. Born, we are nothing without you guys. So we will continue <laughs> to work towards that every single day. That much I can promise you. Uh, thank you for the kind words, my man, Berlin. You're a nice guy. What I was trying to say earlier was I don't know how to play small floats such as can f when the market is in a downward like i don't know how much of a correlation it has right so that's my discomfort in playing yeah. something like can f obviously yeah. i had gotten failed because i forgot to cancel the order and it is what it is i'm in the trade now but and and so i'll actually expand on that a little bit tell me if this applies to you as well as the thing about low floats is because they move around so quickly I also feel that they're prone to knee-jerk reactions. So when we're watching a sell-off, think about it from the trader's perspective. I know that I behave like this sometimes. If I'm trading something that's speculative, something that I don't necessarily feel really strong about, and all of a sudden the market looks like it's going to turn and maybe there's some headlines to kind of accentuate that, the first things that I want to give up on are the things that I don't really feel strongly about. Right? I'm not going to give up a long-term investment position on a knee-jerk yeah. reaction. But something that I'm doing, taking a speculative trade on, that's definitely something that I'm going to cut first. So when it comes to some of these low floats, I feel like they're a little bit more prone to some of those knee-jerk reactions. And in a lot of the times, I don't necessarily want to stomach that, right? Um, if I have a stop and I get stopped out at my stop, fine. But if it blows through that and is 10, 15, 20 cents lower than that, maybe I've taken more damage than I want to. Uh, sometimes the trade is no trade. And for me, when things are moving around, <clears> that, <throat> I can handle it. That's generally where I settle it. Yeah, no, for sure. By the way, on those spy puts, we are up about 40% now. So I'm going to go ahead and take another one fourth that's out of half of my original position here um got filled at give me one second i'll tell you got filled at three dollars and 17 cents um from the initial fill of two dollars and 37 cents so out another one fourth nice job on that thank you thank you um and the rest i'm hoping to, so the next one fourth i'm hoping to take it at 452 24 area right around here and then the rest, honestly, after that, the last piece in a perfect world, I want to hold on to. So to see that if we can test 450 50 sometime today. Now, ideally, what would be great is if SPY can come up, test VWAP, get rejected. That would be a beauty. But obviously, then we'd go through some pain. Um, so depending on what your risk tolerance is, you may or may not want that. But for now... Don't let this go to a uh, red trade, by the way. Um, have your stop losses set and make sure you don't let this nice green trade end up being a bloody one for you. Take profits. Like, like Ryan already said, it's a short week. Volatility is going to be um, something that we probably haven't expected and not expected. We may not have seen as it's not as much volume, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, you've got someone saying SOPA. I'm not familiar with that, but I'm happy to take a look. Yeah, Let's me see. either. Let me let me pull it up here real quick. SOPA. What's going on here? I in here? assume it's Society Pass shares are trading higher if the company was added to the Russell 2000. So there you go. Ooh, okay. If this wick is to be believed in pre-market, that's where it's testing. And let's see let if me, it's halted. Let me your screen back up. There you go. All right, no worries. SOPA. Yeah, it looks like it is halted at the moment. Um, right at that mark of pre-market highs. So it's testing. Well, you can see it was support here back on December 6th area. You can see that it was support a few times here. And coming back now to today, it's going to act as resistance as it did in pre-market. We'll see how it behaves. Um, not really familiar with it. And again, I am not a great low float trader and whatnot. So unfortunately, I won't be of help to you. Um, BBIG is still really strong. Printing 330s here. Really interesting stuff. Take a Let's look at where we at in the VIX. VIX is, uh, VIX is elevated, right? So we gapped up. We had a 27 print as the high in the VIX, 27.39. We're currently at 26.15. Um, VIX starts to get rolling here. The sell-off can definitely accelerate. Uh, BBIG up another $0.08 cents now, 338, 340 now. BBIG still pushing here. 
I'll go ahead and pull up my VIX chart here. Matter of fact, I'm going to not concentrate on spot. I love that you've got the levels defined there. That's yes. That's yeah. And that's exactly what I wanted to bring up. So I was, this was where, um, I was trying, the levels came when I was trading, uh, spy puts and this is what I was looking at, but yeah, basically, um, these are the levels that I have. You can see that it broke out of there. So we're good over there. Basically the, I'm, I would not be surprised if VIX was able to test 30, um, sometime today and that would really heighten. Sorry. I just got filled on something. Well, let me see. Yeah, no problem. Uh, while you're checking that out, Roy says, I will say days like this with no other PR, a can F could get uh, hits later on prop on pops all day or just keep dumping. Roy, that's that's totally correct. Um, you know, if there is nothing else to trade the degenerate traders. And I use that term endearingly. Sometimes I fit into that category. They're going to trade the things that are moving. And here we are back above 220 here uh, on on CANF. So we had a huge pull here. Volume is still elevated and we're curling in reverse. Yeah. Sorry, Zine, go ahead. No, no, you're totally fine. I'm a little scatterbrained anyway right now. But yeah, SPY came in coming down you've got the vix chart here these are the levels that i have on it thirty dollars thirty two fifty so on so forth if you want to go ahead and take a look at it daily like i should have done from the get-go you can see where these levels kind of came from uh one of them was all the way back in early january where we had the whole amc situation and vix obviously came all the way up um but the highest of highs is obviously the eighty dollars which god forbid we ever get there again EBIG wow. 352 continues to move. I'm sorry for interrupting. You're, you're, Man, you're oh, totally man. cool, dude. You are totally cool. Th this one I miss. BBIG I miss. BBIG I would have felt a little bit better trading because we've traded this before. We've seen these moves before. I don't trust the stock long term, but there's enough juice here to, to day trade this. This one I'm a little salty about. I I'm okay on the CANF trade, but this one I definitely feel like I miss. Big, big pop here. 359 now. 359 print. 360 prints. This came off a 310 break, guys. Yeah, 50 cent move here in what, three minutes? Unreal. Uh, Eric saying Apple wants to fill the gap. Eric, this is what I was trying to highlight at the beginning of the show here. I wanted to watch how the market handled this gap. Did it actually hold it and try to curl back up? Or did it actually retest those lows, snap, and then trade down? Uh, to your point there, it sure does look like Apple wants to fill that gap today. We don't, you know, day is not over. We'll see what happens, but it sure looks looks like that now. Uh, we talked about Tesla at the open here. Tesla bouncing now. Zunaid, it did hold that 900 level mm -hmm. quite well. We're putting 916s now. So Yeah, not surprised at all. If you want to go short Apple, this is not a bad spot in my opinion. That break of 170 would be your stop loss, but this is not a bad spot where you're risking about 50 to 70 cents. Um, nothing too crazy. And now here, Spy doing what we... Thought we wanted it to do, and I say that because it's testing VWAP, and if it rejects it, then that's a really good sign uh, for us. But if it breaks above, obviously, then it's not. But this is why we go ahead and lock in those gains, because those gains that we locked in at $2.97, now it's going for about two fifty two. dollars uh, So you always want to make sure you lock in your gains. And here's VWAP, and here's Apple trying to move to the upside. To, and yeah, and you can see that you had your VIX chart up there before. Yeah, uh, I'll put it up again here. On the yeah, left. VIX, VIX just kind of pulled a little bit from when we were looking at it. Things things look like they're trying to bounce, but the question is going to be, does this bounce hold and continue? I don't know the answer to that. Um, Hex Pony saying, doesn't BBIG have a decision or a filing end of December? Um, Hex, that's a that you know what? I don't have that here on any of my notes. I, I should have taken that down. Taken that down. Excuse me. Uh, I don't know up top. I, you know, I tend to watch just the technicals on BBIG because I don't actually believe the company long term. Uh, but you might be right about that. If you have it, go ahead and link it in the chat. Alan saying at this point, I think Viac is mostly down because of the weird exponential gain generated by frauds. Uh, and I can't tell you exactly why. Uh, it's definitely a, a, a content play. I know that that unwinding of those, uh, what was that, the, the Chinese fund or whatever that was that, that owned mm -hmm. it. Um, I know that, that that was, you know, huge. But Viacom still has a lot of content. I, I guess I'm surprised to see them kind of roll back over here. Uh, eventually, there will be the bottom. I don't know what it is, though. Yeah, you've got the VIX, like you said, coming down. Uh, the low of day for VIX is um, around the 2450 area, looking for it to kind of make its march all the way to 27s, which was the highs on the earlier. Uh, you also got a um, big pop here in Bitcoin. Maybe not big pop. Uh, someone had talked about SOPA earlier. 
I mean, I don't even know how you would trade it. It's just halted up again. I'll just bring it up real quick just to show our viewers. But you've got SOPA. Yeah. Um, that's definitely not SOPA. SOPA. There we go. Uh, just halt, halt, halt. I mean, I don't, I don't know how you trade it, right? It just doesn't make. I mean, great if you were able to get in earlier, but not, not quite sure how I'd be able to trade this one. Um, Apple so far rejecting from that 170 again. Uh, I did go ahead and grab just a small size of Apple puts. I'm going to grab the 167.50 puts that expire on December 23rd. Paid about $2.31. If it breaks above 170, I will be out of this trade. Um, Noel in the chat. Great shout here, Noel. We missed this when it hit the wire. It was about 10 minutes ago. GRTX racing on a $20 price target. Uh, we had this actually popped in the pre market here. Uh, we had this level drawn from last week. Um, you can see here, this actually popped what on December 14th. We look like we're about to take out that high. In fact, I'm going to mark that right now. Here we go. This high is on deck here. So 391. I would imagine a push through four here is probably on deck. No position here. Great call though uh, on GRTX. $20 price target from Citigroup as well. It's not just some run of the mill. That's Citigroup. You're seeing a little bit of Apple call flow, which is not what I want to see, but I'm still hoping. Because I do have Hopium that will go ahead and reject and not get above 170. But Spy flirting with VWAP right now. I need it to reject and come on back down, please. Hey, I'll go ahead and put up. What was it, GRTX? Yeah, it was GR. Oh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not as quick as Mitch and Spencer on flipping the screens. I got to work on that. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Come on, though. Um, oh, come on. Come on. Come down. EXPR popping here, 307. Uh, I think this move might be a little bit done. Good volume here in EXPR. Definitely kind of bucking the trend that started on December 8th. Um, but no position here. It is popping. Let's check in on Carnival. Carnival's still pushing those highs there. Uh, Jeff D's. Ryan, you need Jeff D's. I don't, I don't know what you mean by what that. Is, what is Jeff here. D's? Yeah, Jeff, Je Jeff is uh, one, of, one of the uh, frequent viewers here. Also a very successful student from our Benzinga Trading School. Shout out to the Trading School and Mark Petrino, who does a good job teaching people fundamentals so that you can make some money uh, in this market. Uh, Jeff, real, real, uh, real, real uh, nice person. Oh, you need Jeff D's to switch oh, screens. To switch I got screens. you. I got, got you. It. Trying to be a producer help. I got you, Jeff. It's good to see you, my man. Hopefully, you're having a good holiday. Ladies and gentlemen, you are up a spectacular 4% on those Apple puts. Um, this is where so this is interesting, right? We went ahead and grabbed those puts when Apple was at 167, 169.50s, and now it's down more than 50 cents. My contracts, well, now they're only up about eight percent. Makes me wonder if I should have gotten in commons short instead. Um, but Apple is now testing VWAP right around here. I, I wouldn't say lock in gains because it's six percent. That doesn't that doesn't sound nice. But if you are worried that it's going to kind of go back above, and if this is a test and it's going to hold a support, then yeah, you may want to be careful here. Um, I would not add here. I think adding was better here, like we did around the 170, 169, 50 area. But we do need it to break VWAP and then continue on down. Um, if it can get to 168.50s. And if my contracts are up about 25%, I will scale out of one fourth. But my main target that I want to reach is about 168.16 on those Apple puts and spy puts. We're still in it. We already scaled out half. We're still in the other half, hoping we don't get the break of 455.50. BBIG, big pull, by the way. Woo! Big pull, BBIG. And you've got right. GRTX breaking four. What's up, Spencer? I'm back. I'm back. I'm sorry. What did I miss? Did I miss anything crazy? Yeah, we just made a million dollars. Oh my god! You miss there. There is quite a bit uh, moving now. Uh, GRTX, good call on that push. We we just said what is that going to attack four? Here we are at four, so we're right on that so far. Come on, come on, spy! Just just say hello to four fifty for me. Just say hello, test it, let the world know if you're going to hold it or not. All right, come on, Apple. Wow, whoa, I'm just catching up with some of these moves. Holy reopening trade, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see some of these cruise lines? Or is that, uh, uh, I, yeah. I, I, we talked about CCL. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm late for the party. All right, I apologize. No, no, That's okay. We, we, had, we had mentioned it, Spencer. One of the things that I was saying was that I thought it was interesting that CCL was up. 
uh, a number of our chat uh, users reminded me that they had earnings today, but I saw that out of the earnings today, I didn't see anything about the guidance, which has been the thing that has been moving stocks up. And then I also flipped over to RCL and saw that putting in a very similar move. They did not report earnings. Today. Freaking car! I, can't, I swear, I, I, I don't, I'm in the same boat, Spence. I'm doing the same thing. It's a head scratcher, right? It's not no, just me. It's carnival. I literally, they always report at like nine fifteen in the morning at uh, Eastern Time. And it's always on a random day. It's on a Monday. Who reports on a Monday morning? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, anyway. So, all right. Wait, let's see what they said. So, they said, uh, okay, the end of the quarter with a lot of liquidity. Good for them. They still lose money. Yes. Oh, they expect to make a profit in the second half of next year. All right. That's something, I guess. Yeah. They uh, had headlines on Thursday or Friday that as well, I believe. Uh, yes. Notable that just, DocuSign yeah. continues to bounce. Um, we bounce enough here. We're going to be into a humongous gap, and um, I'm going to. I'm actually going to mark both of these points off on the chart. One sixty four and one seventy look to be your spots. Excuse me. Yeah, if DocuSign does come back down to the one fifty five area around VWAP, that could be a nice long for sure. All right, so come on, just dump it. How are the all right? So our our leaders of the pre market have get oh Novavax gave it all back, all of it. Novavax gave all of it back, and CCL through nineteen. M- Moderna's oh oh boy, what a reversal today! Didn't you ask me about the vaccine trade earlier? What a reversal. You, you, you had two trends this morning. You had the vaccine stocks trading higher, and you had uh, everything else trading lower. <laughs> and um, the vaccine stocks reversed. Uh, Zoom was your other leader. They reversed hard. Ooh, this is tricky. You have someone... <laughs> some. <laughs> You know how we typically say you have someone in the chat asking? This individual's username is actually someone. Okay. Uh, on the previous candle, Apple went down nicely, but the 167.5 puts went down too. From that to that, what happened there was something weird with happened with the Greeks. Greeks typically will play a role, right, uh, in certain situations like that. I wasn't keeping an eye, so I don't know if it might have been a glitch or anything like that. In terms of volatility, and these aren't even weeklies. I mean, actually, these aren't um, daily, so it's not like the spy puts that we have. So I'm not sure, but I would go ahead and say it is the Greeks. Possibly it was um, the volatility may have gone down, so the IV may have gone down now that we're already 30 minutes into the market. So obviously at the open, IV is crazy. Uh, Cause everyone's trying to figure out what's going to happen. So that's definitely probably what happened there, uh, which is why I had mentioned to Ryan, I wish I was in common short instead of puts because they just haven't played out as nicely as I thought. Uh, so yes, I will say it's the Greeks volatility. IV is probably what happened there. I'm still yeah. looking at Apple to break that one sixty eight fifty. One more thing um, for someone's question here regarding what happened with the premium and went down 15 cents despite the price of the stock going down. Please remember that when you deal with options, premium pricing, in addition to being based off of, like Zunaid was saying, the price of the stock as well as the implied volatility, it's also based on the people that are trading that contract, right? So if that particular if at that particular time the contract is being sold off it's you're liable to see a depreciation in that in that premium price uh it could be short-lived and in a lot of cases sometimes you'll see a seller come in there get filled and then it'll just return back to the level that it's at Uh, i wouldn't necessarily pin all that on the greeks zunaid really summed it up quite nicely there's a lot of volatility this morning and you're going to see some of those premiums float back and forth and i'm glad you mentioned that and please cut me off if there's something else going on the market but like typically whenever i play I, i like to play to the long side it's just what i'm comfortable with as there's a lot of people um real quick sorry you've got netflix um the 600 dollars call is coming in on the ask they're buying about two hundred thousand dollars worth they're buying the netflix 600 dollars calls expiring this week so let's see what netflix is doing there's netflix trying to break 600 but the reason i bring that up is because you'll see sometimes the contract price of these calls will go higher even though the commons the stock itself is not and that's simply because so many people are buying those same calls that the iv goes up the demand goes up and as we speak you got apple breaking down let's see what our contracts are at 
Yeah, up about 18%. Yeah, definitely. Definitely commons would have been great because we would have had about a dollar move on it by now. But I'm going to go ahead and lock in about 1.4 just to have something on the books for this Apple trade. Went ahead and sold 1.4 at $2.78. There you go. Come on down. And there's Spy with it. There we go. Let's see what VIX is doing. Should be perking up nicely. Hasn't gotten to the high of day just yet. 2620 area would be that. Come on, Spy. Let's see. GRTX still hasn't broken the $4 range. Over Can F. Still hanging around around that 220 area. So nothing crazy happening at Can F. You know, for all the talk about does the market care about COVID or variant, does it not care? You, you know how we can just judge that once and for all? Tell me. Whether or not the market cares or not. There's one stock. There is really only one stock that people would buy if they were terrified of, of a new variant, and that is Clorox, right? It, it, is, it is the one. Clorox is trading higher today. Clorox, to me, is your ultimate indicator, right? Is Clorox trading higher? All right. Market spray to COVID. Is it not? No, it's not. <laughs> you know? Oh, I really do wonder how better of an indicator or a trade stock that is compared to like your Zooms and your docus, you know? No, but think about it, right? I mean, can, can we zoom out on Clorox? Can, can we go to like, let's take a look. Take, 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 take a look at last year, right? Look, look at last year. When, when, when did Clorox start going up? In February. <laughs> yeah. Well, right? the, yeah, I mean, Clorox and, you know, your Zooms and your docus and whatever, they all, I assume, I would make an educated guess that they all started to go up at the same area. Yeah, to me, that's your ultimate indicator. Anyway. We've got, uh, a, we've got a spammer in the chat if we can take care of that. Hey, Remark Holdings, you got 50 grand from them, and then why are you telling us about it? Save it for yourself. And also, if you went and spammed it four times, does that mean you got a total of two hundred thousand dollars? Is that how it works? I don't know. Anyway, um, go back to my back to my <laughs> scanner, back to the scanner, watching what's moving, watching what's moving. Um, oh man! Wow, your top two gainers this morning in so far or in the S and P are uh, a cruise line, Carnival, and an airline, American. I'm surprised because Jets was down when Grind and I talked about it like four and a half, four percent. I think it, I think it was three point six nine percent, just because I wanted to say it. But you know, let's see. Yeah, Jets is well, Jets is perking up now, and it's almost red to green. Here, I'll pull it up. Yeah, here. Almost red to green. As you can see, you got Apple coming back as well. Spy. So now you've got Apple. So we want Apple to do what we got with Spy, where it kind of tested VWAP and then it rejected. Oh, okay. So hopefully it rejects VWAP here and we can get to the 168s. And the break of 168 would invite us hopefully to 167 area. But let's see what happens. We're going to be a little patient with it. Well, yeah, that tanning ETF is getting, is getting uh, tanned here today. The what? Tan, the solar ETF. Hey, you know what's interestingly not down today? What? Um video games ea oh, okay. activision take two all beaten down all out of favor in var to varying degrees all up today who makes halo uh because and the reason i ask why you think about that is because halo had a huge tournament yesterday with a ton of viewers and halo it's been is microsoft isn't it yeah, developer it's oh, it is. developed by bungie yeah. Yeah, so. part of the Destiny series, if I'm not mistaken. Let me look. Uh, okay. Publisher I was, I was Xbox Game Studios. Yeah, okay. A little different then. Oh, uh, that's that's right. That's probably why they were exclusive to got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. All right, all right. The reason I ask is because if it was like a different type air someone Aaron said Zunaid, come on. I don't know what that was referring to. Maybe it was my who makes Halo comment. My bad. I think it was because he answered the question. Uh, my bad. It no, okay. yeah, Aaron, I think is is responding to me here. No, Bungie doesn't make it anymore. It's just Microsoft, and he's probably right. I haven't played Halo in a while. Yeah, but the reason I mention it is because they had a huge tournament, a lot of great success, a lot of viewership. Everyone's excited about it. Um, that's the reason I mention it. But everyone, what? Everyone's excited. Everyone except Spencer Israel. I, I haven't played Halo in 
15 years probably. I haven't either, yeah, just because I like esports. I just, you know, my Twitter was blowing up with esports stuff. So, okay. Fair um, but you've got Microsoft, though, breaking the, the 319 level. The lows of pre market are about 318. And you've got Apple still. So it rejected. Re, uh, it rejected VWAP for the time being. We'll see if it ends up doing it. You still got about six minutes left in this 10 minute candle. And you've got SPY testing low of sessions or session lows here at 452.50s. Come on, just break that puppy. What do you think, Spencer? We see 450s today or no on SPY? Ooh, uh, let, me, let, me, let me pull up a daily here on my own chart. Uh, do we see 450? Today, um, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll take that bet. Yeah, I'll, I'll say I'll say four fifty. That's not yeah. that's not outrageous. That's that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for us to get to around four fifty to break of that. Then we can take another piece off, and the rest, I want to be selfish and see if we can go ahead and test the four fifties. Uh, Maddie Ice, do I play Madden? No, but I do play two K. So if anyone ever wants to load up on Xbox or PlayStation. Uh, Zunia's like an influencer. Zunia's like a 2K influencer, aren't you? Yeah, it's wild. Like, not like an influencer, as in I have a lot of influence, but yes, I do broadcast. Um, hey, do you stream on Twitch? Um, no, just because like whenever like other programs will allow me to stream on their stuff, right? So, for example, tonight I'll be on the 2K Leagues channel um, around nine o'clock. So, my own, no, but I need to do more stock stuff like charts and whatnot i i used to stream on twitch my bread and butter game was nhl wait what year oh. what year all of them i've been playing nhl them. since 98 there's no one in this office that can even stand a chance can in I, nhl can i tell you what i will absolutely flatten you it won't tell, even you, tell you what year mine was oh four nice oh four was, was a good year that was my year yeah oh yeah Four was a good year oh, yeah what once you figure out the glitch in that game as far as how to score yeah uh Anyway, okay, um, back to the stocks. So, someone asked, Zune, do you own any Rivian? SA asked in the chat. Do I own any Rivian? No. Uh, we can take a look at the chart, though. I think the break, I think the, oh, God. I was going to say 120 has been resistant for so long, but you already, okay, I've got a little, I've got something here. I don't know why, I don't know why I have that box there. Uh, but Rivian, though, oh, that's what it was. I was trading it on Friday because of a $100 reject. That's what it was. Um, can't get over 95 here. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and short Rivian, this is a decent spot in terms of risk reward. If it can get over this VWAP, you want to go ahead and get out. Um, what, what are the lows? Are they, is that the lows? I think, or is it 90? I think 90 was the lows on Rivian, right? After it. Let me check. I don't know. No, 95 was, uh, yeah. So 95 was the previous low in Rivian and looks like it's trying to break above that for right now. But no, I am not in Rivian long, short, or anything like that. But if you wanted to, if it breaks above VWAP, go ahead and get out. And there's SPY perking up a little bit, as is Apple. And we need it to reject this VWAP here. Hmm. As far as, like, trends today, there really, there really isn't much to speak of. Um, you, you have some reopening. You have some stay at home you have some value and you have some growth right yeah you have, you have re some reopening in the carnival and american and royal caribbean and norwegian right you have some stay at home right netflix uh video games which also count as growth you have some value at t um uh stx is trading higher kroger is trading higher kimberly clark that's value they're all trading higher. Uh, it's kind of a weird one. I don't know. Verizon is up to flat, which makes if you're flat, you're up because every index is down. So, huh? Yeah, well, it sounds to me like those are the, you're you're naming off some safety trades, right? But Verizon yeah, pays yeah, nice. Yeah, I don't really know what to make of this. I'm not quite sure why the video game stocks would be trading higher this morning, um, I, unless that's just a pure. Stay at home. Let me tell you, I am getting ready to max out. 
Yeah, I, I'm video sure games you over this Christmas break. I mean, wait, 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 Ryan, you're out. You're out next week. Are you going somewhere? Or are you just gonna? Uh, I'm not. I, I I'm kind of gonna be floating around. My buddy has a, a place in Wisconsin, which is not far from where I live, that I might visit okay. uh, once or twice. But for the most part, I'm not necessarily gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna see some of my friends. Uh, I'm gonna do some some dinners with some of my friends. Uh, but I'm I'm gonna do some relaxing. I, I haven't had I haven't taken a vacation around the Christmas holiday probably in 15 years. Oh, and wow. so this year I'm finally going to do that. Uh, I'm really looking forward to just doing some um, rest and relaxation. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go uh, do some of the public skating at the ice rink that's near my house. Oh. Uh, the one thing that I need to check on, um, I need to make sure that they're not, they don't have the BS mask mandate. There's no way I'm ice skating with a mask on. That's ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah, have fun with that. Whatever floats your boat. Um, well, they have, I'll tell you what, speaking of floating my boat, Spence, if, they, if it gets cold enough, they do outdoor ponds around where I live. Well, and wait, I wait. will seek out one of those if, in, instead of an ice wait, rink because what in the mask? outdoors in the winter is just bliss for wait, me. Wait, what mask, me wouldn't the mask keep your face warm? No. Face diapers don't do anything, dude. And, and, and keeping your face warm, you're in an ice rink. I mean, like skating around keeps your entire body warm. All right. Whatever. Um, I want to breathe when I'm ice skating. Come I was going to say something before that. I don't remember what it was now. Um, we're we're going to have Aaron Bree join us in, in, in a couple minutes here. AB is going to walk you all into 1030. Because at, at 1030, we got to hop because I got well, I got future training with uh, – Ninja Trader. Nice. So oh, awesome. We're, we're talking futures and we're talking trading and we're talking Ninja Trader. Yeah, Ninja's games. awesome. So we'll have AB join us uh, for a few minutes, walk us into the, uh, the half hour here. And I was going to say something and I forget what it was. I don't remember. Oh, well. Um, uh, we're watching Easy Mike's watching Oil 67. I don't know. Not much to see there. Gold quiet this morning. Interesting, like gold. Gold is freaking man. Every time the market goes down, gold goes down with it. Um, how's the TLT doing today? Bitcoin looking all right. Kind of bouncing here a little. Oh, Reach out. Maybe the market's Reach trying out. to bounce here a little. It is, but I don't need it to. There you go. Come on. Oh my God, Roy. My dad used to speak of skating in the frozen rivers in Poland where you could skate from city to city. Let me tell you, cross-country skiing, any type of skiing like that, is super fun. If I could skate like miles like that, I would do it. That sounds so cool. That is a bucket list item. Bucket list item right there, Roy. This is what I like to see. Apple so far rejected VWAP. There you go. Come on. So I'm looking at this area right here since I see you got my charts pulled up. You can see the reject there on two of the 10 minutes. Obviously, this one's still going. We've got about eight and a half minutes left on this 10-minute candle, but need it to break this 168. Um, and you can see SPY here, similar thing. Tried to go ahead and break above BWAP, could not do it, needed to come back and test it. You already had it test twice, which is a 452.50 level, but I needed to come back at least, try the actual proper 452 and break on down. But so far, we are looking good for our shorts yeah that was a pretty textbook trade right there isn't it that's really nice thank you thank you um All i right. think this is the longest i've held spy puts in my life i think i've held it for like what an hour now almost like jesus christ man. <laughs> all right so, so here's the deal i gotta hop and get ready for future trading at 10 30 with ninja trader what i need from you though is a few more likes we're at 128 likes can we get to 300 in the next eight minutes? I say we can. There's 700 some odd people watching here. We can get to uh, uh, a third of those liking the show. And speaking of liking the show, I just heard Aaron Bree join, producer AB. Oh, he just turned his camera off. That's uh, cool. AB. I'm glad he's coming on. I haven't seen. I have. I feel like I haven't seen AB in weeks, and I need a little AB in my life. So I, I'm glad he's coming on here a little he's, early. That's he, awesome. He's lurking. He's lurking backstage, trying to get his camera working. I think nothing wrong. Ooh. There you go, Apple. Come on down. Come on down. Come on down. Come on down. He's waiting for all, all of our, all my stocks to go down. I don't like it. Short term. Short term. Short term. Okay. okay. You know. Fair enough. He specified short term. I, yeah, I yeah, yeah. We we in the weeklies, man. Look, that. you see how annoyed I am that I have spy puts Wait, and I'm still holding a, on for an hour. I question. I have a question. Weekly oh, options. Yeah. This this week and next week. Uh -huh. when, 
they close week. they close early, right? They close on no Thursday. Early. No, what? I, 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 I was. We don't have. There's no trade What's on Friday. Schedule for next week. Yes, that is how we should start with this. What is the market schedule? Yeah, next the, mar- week? the market's open five days this week. It's open four Except and a half. What, Fridays and half day. Fridays and half day. Okay. Are you sure? Because I thought it was closed. See, Conf- we need to clear up the confusion now. That's okay, what so what's your source on half day? Because I have a source. My own knowledge is my source. Okay, okay, well, I don't trust that. My so is my okay. source. Look, okay. even in the chat, you've got one individual who says market close, and then another one right after it says no. early day. No, my no, no. money is on I'm, close. I'm sharing the screen. I'm sh- I, I I googled it. I'm sharing the New York Good. Stock Exchange holidays. Okay, we're on twenty. It is close. There it is. Fat Friday, December twenty fourth, the Christmas holiday observed, which means closed. Uh, no. Zoom wait. in. Footnotes. Wait, AB, wait, your shirt is fire. On. By the way, that shirt is fire. It's awesome. Thank you. This is my green shirt day. Apple it's breaking awesome. one sixty eight. By the way, let's freaking go! Come on. Oh, the market is closed on Friday. Oh shoot! Because I sent an email. Out <laughs> my to all own the knowledge, guys. My own. Wait, no, 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 no. But it, it's open next Friday. Oh, because that's what we were talking about. No, I'm. Hey, first- hey, Spencer. Hey, Spencer. You know what? It's open on a Friday, seventeen no, weeks no, no, from no, now, I, too. I specifically <laughs> asked about the next two weeks. Okay, so we're talking about both together here. So, okay, just to be clear, this Friday there is no market. That next Friday. Friday it looks, like we, it looks like we have a full day. <laughs> we have a full day. Okay. So, okay. So just to confirm, you, you had said we had five days of trading this week. We don't, right? We just figured out that we don't have that. Okay. Four. Okay, cool. So right. we're on you the think, page you think I care time. about next Friday when I'm playing hey, weeklies okay, and okay, dailies? Okay, <laughs> Whatever. I, I, I have to go. I'll catch you guys over on future trading. I have to go. We love you, Spence. Jeez, See you, my man. AB, what? you came in with a green shirt, but ever since you came in, the spy's gone down, Apple's gone down. I'm a fan. What is up, y'all? Yeah, I mean, hey, it is what it Ooh. is. I, I, I've been uh, doing my typical YOLO trading this morning. Nice. <laughs> AB said that where it's like, I know when I do YOLOs, I lose money. I still do them. So typical of me. That's what hey, you just sounded respect. like. No, I, I'm not. I'm not losing money right now. Here, I'll, I'll share my... Uh, I'll, I'll show you the one trade I've made so far today. Uh, while only- you're doing that, while you're doing that, Apple went ahead and broke that 168 level. Your contracts are now up about 26. percent So please close them out as you see fit. Do not let this go green. I mean, do not let this go red. Ugh. Shout out to Tiny Pie Media. That's the comment of the entire argument. Everyone, chill. You can trade all the crypto you want. Run Dude, I really no need to. Props. <laughs> I need to like find funds to trade crypto because I thought yeah. I was gonna have a great time. I like put in ten thousand dollars and I was like, I just made eight dollars. Bye bye. Yeah, to, I've just to... been hodling. I literally put in four hundred USD back in twenty seventeen and I've got multiple thousands now. So I'm. Just I hodling. love it. Good for you. Just hodling. So oh, going nine. going nine. into today, I had a few uh, option contracts open that I closed this morning. I had a Zoom call that I opened on Friday that was up pretty nicely. I had a Carnival Cruise Line put that I opened on Friday while Carnival was up like 4% or something. And Carnival opened down. I got out of them. Um, And then Carnival. That was a really great trade because Cardinal, Carnival, excuse me, spiked after you did that. I know. I got, I I saw like it opened down about 3.5%. And it started creeping up. And I sold them while it was still down like 2.5%. And I checked in on Carnival like 20 minutes later because I was like, Frick, like I, uh, I like might have gotten out of this too early, and I expected to see Carnival down, and it was up like three percent. So I was like, thank nice God, I, thank trade. God, I got out of those. Nice trade, AB. Um, but then I was looking at everything this morning, and every like most most of all the stocks on my watch list that I usually trade were red, um, but I saw Netflix like pretty flat and actually like green, like it was up barely, and I was like, oh, Netflix is showing some relative strength today. So I hopped in. On some weekly Netflix calls, I'll pull those up right now. They are up 154%. Um, here's where I would oh, very nice. Here's where I would think about trimming my position because I'm already up so nicely on the trade that I started. I opened. Uh, you can see right here, I opened it 48 minutes ago, and I'm up over 150%. Um, but right now, I'm in kind of like pattern day trading jail, so I can't close these until tomorrow morning. 
So really, I'm, I'm just hoping for Netflix <laughs> to show continued strength throughout the day and into uh, into the after hours. So great job, obviously, buying that. My question to you is, did you know you were in jail before oh, you yeah. bought those? Okay, oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. Okay. And, just so let, sure. me, let me ask you a question. When you say in jail, do you just mean out of day trades? Yeah. So like if I, if I went to close this position right here, say I wanted to close a yep. contract, yep. um, looks like it's going for 290 right now. If I go to submit this, it says yep. you're restricted from day trading, placing this trade may result in another day trade and restrict you from buying stock for 90 okay. days. That is jail. So right now you're not in jail. You're in the back of the squad car, but the cops probably going to let you go because you really haven't done anything bad. You hit right. that. Then I'm, on, <laughs> I'm on, prob I'm on, I'm on, I'm on probation right now. I should say. Probation. Uh, there you go. I love um, it. But I, I'm not going to. I'm not willing to to make that trade just to take this profit to stop myself yeah, from trading for, sure. for the next ninety days. And I honestly like. I don't know. I've had a few of these where it's worked out for me where I would have gotten out of the trade, but instead I stayed into it because I'm in this probation. And then the trade ends up working out for me. I'm not saying this is going to happen with Netflix. It looks sure. like we, we've kind of run out of some momentum, but. Uh, is it possible that Netflix continues to rip throughout the afternoon and maybe into after hours or pre-market tomorrow? Yeah, of course it's possible. So um, there, there's a chance that I end up losing money on this trade, but I'm 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 hanging on. I'm hodling, just like you said you were doing for crypto. Yeah. So we are gonna go ahead and have you back tomorrow to give us an update on those contracts to see how green you are or how bloody you are. Yeah, uh, Arf Arf is saying Netflix looks like it's forming a bullish engulfing candle. Um, that sounds good to me. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> I'd like to. I love I'd like the to, transparency. I'd like to think so too, Arf Arf. I, I, you know, but uh, yeah, honestly, this was Arf, up. Arf. It's come down a lot. Like I was up like eight hundred dollars on it a couple minutes ago. Now it's only up four hundred thirty. So that's probably because the markets. If you want to go and pull up my charge just so we can get out of this trade and get a go to futures trading before yeah. Spencer blows up our mentions. Yeah. Oh yeah, let me check. Oh shoot, it's already 452 target re target reach. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell another one fourth. So that's three fourths that I'm out of this trade. We got in at 237. Now we are gonna go ahead and get out at three dollars and sixty cents. The rest I'm waiting till 450. And if it happens, great. If not, we're good. I'm gonna close out of my Apple call Apple puts as well. Uh, up about 26 percent since we're ending the show. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of it. And yeah, happy trading. Beautiful. Yeah, and let me yeah. just double check before we end the show that we're set to automatically redirect to uh, what is it? Futures trade in with, with Spencer. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, man. You tired, Zuna? Did you stay up late last night? I did. I did. I did stay up late last night. All right. We are all set to transfer the viewers over to. Um, hey, the there's the mention show. from Spencer. There we go. We knew it was coming. All right, y'all. We're wrapping up here. We'll be back, uh, what, tomorrow morning? See ya. Peace. Stick around. This stream will automatically redirect you to the futures. Uh, Spencer's over there now. Should be a great day.